joining us now to lay it all out is Patrick Riley. He is the attorney uh, for the Petito family. Uh, Pat, we appreciate, appreciate you being here. You know, I thought I knew the ins and outs of this case, uh, but, you know, my jaw dropped when this new information came out really over the weekend uh, involving what you allege the Laundries knew and when they knew it, um, basically saying uh, that about two weeks before uh, Gabby Petito was reported missing, that Brian Laundrie had made a phone call to his parents saying that Gabby was, quote, gone and that he needed a lawyer. How were you able to, to discover this, Pat? Well, good evening, Brian. Thank you for the invitation this evening. Um, the deposition of Christopher Laundry and Roberta Laundry was taken back in October, as well as attorney Stephen Bertolino. And during that deposition for the first time, Christopher Laundry disclosed that on August 29th of 2021, he received what he called a frantic telephone call uh, from Brian, in which Brian disclosed to him that Gabby was gone uh, and that he needed a lawyer. So uh, that just confirmed what we had suspected uh, going back almost two years. So I'm thinking back to that time, Pat, and there is this search happening all over the country for Gabby Petito, an enormous amount of police resources all over the place. Everybody's looking for her. Um, and, and according to this new information that you're presenting, the Laundries knew that she was gone. And, and I know this is now a civil trial, but I think a lot of people are watching this wondering, like, how is this not criminal if they didn't come forward with that information? I mean, were they allowed to withhold that? Well, I'm not a criminal lawyer, uh, but I know that Attorney Bertolino has certainly taken the position that they had the right to remain silent. They don't have an obligation to disclose. So I don't know whether or not there are any, are any possible uh, criminal charges that could be brought against them at this point. But certainly in terms of the civil litigation, this is uh, very uh, big information for us. Yeah, and the laundries, uh, again, this all came out as part of the new filing, collected a $25,000 retainer to pay a law firm in Wyoming. Yet at the same time, uh, they were going public through their attorney at that time, releasing statements. There was one statement that said in part, on behalf of the laundry family, uh, it is our hope that the search for Miss Petito is successful and that Miss Petito is reunited with her family. That was September 14th. Um, August 29th is when you're alleging uh, that, that he was told she was gone, that they needed a lawyer. Um, so are, are the statements really a big part of, of, of the case here? I mean, were they intentionally trying to mislead people, do you think? Well, the statement certainly is the is the focal point of this particular case. It's really the only cause of action we could bring against Christopher and Roberta Laundrie. And the import of the statements is it supports our allegation that at the time that they made the statement, hoping that Gabby would be reunited with her family, which to most people, I, I believe, would mean that she's going to be alive and it's going to be a happy reunion. At the time they made that particular statement, they knew that she was deceased, and they had known that for about two weeks and kept quiet for that two-week period, despite the pleas from the family to help find her. Um, and they chose to speak up and make that particular statement with knowledge that she was already deceased. Are you surprised, Pat, that Chris and Roberto Laundry were um, so forthcoming with this information? Because couldn't they have said, look, attorney-client privilege, we don't have to tell you? what was going on behind the scenes in terms of us talking with lawyers and that kind of thing? Well, it was an attorney-client privilege for what Brian told them. Mm. Uh, there was, There's no privilege there. What they may have told Attorney Bertolino could have been privileged, uh, but they waived the attorney-client privilege in terms of their relationship with Attorney Bertolino. So how do things play out? I mean, I know there's a, a trial date set, the civil trial for next year. Is there any chance of a settlement? I, I would imagine... I mean, the laundries don't want more information like this coming out. Would you consider a settlement? We would consider a settlement, but it would have to be under the right terms. And, and no one has proposed proper terms or right terms for the family at this particular point in time. But a settlement is always a possibility. Interesting. OK, well, um, Mr. Riley, we'll continue to follow the case. Uh, thank you for coming on. We appreciate it. Thank you, Brian. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.